Ooh, do I have a delicious concoction for you lot today. Beware, spray this juice on your person and you'll be wanting to eat yourself up. This is great crack to be sure, like. Hello, fellow fume heads. It's your frag hag, Trina here. I love to talk about fragrances and bags on this channel. So if you like one and or the other, do consider subscribing. In future, you'll probably see uh, more of me aspiring to the scent gourmand uh, side of things but uh, I'm not done with my bags just yet, so stay tuned. Today's fragrance review is one of a true gourmand indie brand launched in 2018 by a company owner and house perfumer named Daniel Gallagher. This one's very Irish in its name and branding, Rosé All Day, spelt, you know, the Gaelic way. Um, but actually, the house is based in California, a state wherein one can find multitudes of indie fragrance houses. This fragrance was a top 10 finalist in the Artisan category uh, at the 6th Annual Art and Olfaction Awards uh, ceremony, so I guess it's, it's a pretty popular one, pretty original. And here are the notes. Oh, holy catfish, Batman, this one smells good. I thought the stainless steel note was a metaphor, but as you'll note from a message I'm about to read from Daniel himself, it's no joke. Rosé All Day was originally inspired by an exceptionally aromatic Sinsalt, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Rosé, I guess that's a wine, originating from the Texas uh, High Plains. Of course, this inspiration only served as a starting point because what came to be was something that even the perfectionist in me, as in Daniel, was completely smitten by. Aged in stainless steel with the sweet and tasteful olfactive notes of apple crisp, plum, brown sugar, golden honey, and tonka bean absolute, and soldered together by an exquisite Turkish rose absolute, this eau de parfum will keep you warm and elicit happy thoughts on some of the cooler fall and winter days. Mm -mm -mm. This unique scent blasts out apple crisp served in a small bowl of dark bubbly red wine with hot honey drizzling over top. And I say drizzling and not drizzled because the honey really wafts hardcore into the nostrils and it'd have to be hot and separate to do so. It happens at the same time as you get the apple pie note, but it's not meshed with it as an accord. They're, they're separate things. I detect the patchouli and musk early and strangely I think it's these notes along with whatever is creating that steel note that gives the impression of sharpness and strangely, ash, not tobacco, but actually ash. Sounds pretty nasty, but it's actually not a bad thing. Let me spray some on paper here. Yeah, it smells different on paper. Just different, not worse or better. There's some caramelized brown sugar in here, adding to the sweet gourmand effect, but Although my first impression of the scent is smooth and heavy, somehow I feel the fragrance is actually kind of light. I think it's the honey, the honey being like thick and viscous and syrupy sweet. It's kind of like an illusion. Once you this, like the honey melts away, there's kind of like an airiness to it. The rose isn't obvious, but it's there. I'm not 100% if it's a jammy rose or if it's just this goopy hun honey effect hanging around. Let's go with the juicy rose since the whole the whole juice concoction is is pretty mouthwatering. Whether or not you get to the airiness or not of which I speak, the scent is comfort food for the nose. It's homemade apple pie or crisp or strudel, whatever warm cinnamon apple dessert gels with your memory, coupled with a glass of wine on a cool day. All day. Yeah, I could do that. Unfortunately, on me, this does not last all day, nor on me does it project like a monster, which is generally the kind of thing that I like. Perhaps it doesn't linger in the room after I leave either, but I've no definitive feedback on that yet. But I can say that I am delectable to those close to me when I wear this. Mmm. I hope others have better luck with me with this scent when it comes to performance, though. The negatives of this perfume? Well, for me, the hot honey vibe can be I guess excessive, maybe a little overpowering. So if you don't enjoy honey, 
be careful, but the honey does subside. And don't overspray this stuff. When I first got this, I was, I was so surprised and like wowed by it. It's such an intense warmth. And so I, I got obsessed and then I thought, oh geez, I want more because it's such a Moorish perfume. So I sprayed on more. And that wasn't a good idea because with this fragrance, more is not more. <laughs> I started to smell like odd wafts of pickles, metals and burnt rubber which is just interesting, I guess. It wasn't off-putting, but I think maybe to some people it might be if they smell that. So to it, due to its average performance and the two negatives I just mentioned, I wouldn't blind by this scent, um, although I did, and I'm very satisfied with it. I did get this one secondhand at a good price, however, but if you want to buy a new retail, a 30 ml bottle like this retails for um, 95 US dollars, which is no small number. But right now Gallagher is, uh, Gallagher Perfumes is currently moving house. So if you act soon, you can get a 15% off deal with them. And I'll link to them be below. I'm, I'm not affiliated or sponsored with them. Um, I wish. Hey, Mr. Gallagher, fair play to you for making this and other great sense. But could you send some way over to We All Me in Japan? Like, that'd be nice. I guess that's not going to happen while my channel is so tiny. Gallagher Fragrances also offers sample sets. That's a smart option to try out a fragrance before you invest in any brand. And there's only a few in their line. I think there's eight or nine fragrances right now. So you can get their whole set 15% uh, off right now too. So I'm, I might consider doing that myself, to be honest. I haven't smelled the other ones. So that's it. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and do subscribe, darlings. You're, you'd be supporting my efforts uh, in helping me one day to get perfume PR, and that would be wonderful because then I could review more fragrances for you. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bag and Frag Hag is signing out. Mwah.